just got off the bus walking to the hostel now. It's like 7 p.m. But my heart told me to get coffee. I came across this shopping complex and at first I thought it was just like this huge artsy mural, but apparently you can also get like cell phones here. In this vlog, we're going to explore Krakow, letting three unusual monuments be our guide. We'll eat some cheese, get lost, make a few friends, and most importantly, learn about some of Krakow's most remarkable and heartbreaking figures. All right, let's get started. Just gonna get some breakfast that's free at this hostel and then head out for our first day. Here we go. Just casually some horses going by. Minutes away from Little Havana Hostel is Krakow's beautiful main square where we'll be starting our day. Now we're at the main square and it's gorgeous. But yeah, it's sunny. Too many pigeons for me, thank you. I'm really hungry, let's get some traditional Polish food. If I'm being honest, I'm not quite sure what I got. Woohoo! But yeah, I thought it was like a pastry kind of thing. This one's really good, it's like a little bit saltier. I mean, I guess that they weren't lying when they said cheese. Kind of amazing. After enjoying some decorative cheese at the market, it was time to see our first monument, located in one of Krakow's largest parks. If you're looking for cool places to go in Krakow and things to do, I would recommend letting monuments be your guide because you'll end up exploring a new part of town. First comes to worst, you'll just end up in a beautiful park. So it has not failed me yet. We're walking along the city walls through the park and we're on the lookout for a monument of a very famous painter from Krakow. Uh, okay, I think I've spotted it. Yeah, he looks quite comfortable here. Chilling in the park. Good setup. Good setup. Born in 1838, Jan Matajko is considered to be one of Poland's national treasures. His work includes large-scale oil paintings depicting Polish history, as well as a stunning polychrome mural that can be seen today inside of St. Mary's Basilica. <laughs> It's really cool. It's unlike any other monument I've really seen before. Okay, let's continue walking on our way to see the Ignacy Paderewski. No way that I pronounced that correctly. Born in 1860, Ignacy Paderewski is both a diplomatic hero and beloved music composer. But of course, we got a little lost and had a happy accident along the way. It came to a street with a very similar name and it brought us to this market. So sometimes getting lost when you're traveling is a great thing. Well, my lackluster navigational skills landed us at Stary Kleparsh Market, which can literally be translated to the old shopkeeper market. This lively, traditional local market sells everything from produce to household goods and is a perfect place to get lost in. Look, more cheese! Did somebody say coffee? I did. I said coffee. Now that we're fully caffeinated, we're going to make our way to another beautiful park and see another insane statue. Yeah, one of my favorite things about Krakow so far are the parks. They always have so many different monuments and things to see in them. They're lush, they're green. There seems to be many of them too. You can already tell this monument is so Cool. In 1860, Ignacy Jan Paderewski is both a diplomatic hero and beloved composer. In 1919, he became Poland's prime minister and eventually signed the Treaty of Versailles, which ended World War I. Before becoming prime minister in 1919, Paderewski traveled throughout Europe and the United States as a pianist. Some say that his amazing performances paved the way for his later diplomatic efforts. On my way to recruit someone to come see statue Why number three with me. Here in Krakow. Um, I'm half Polish. Are you? I've got, yeah. I've got two weeks off the uni and yeah. I've not been abroad in forever. Amazing. What's your name? <laughs> Do you want to be on my what blog? Are you you doing? don't. My name is Steve and uh, I'm here in. Uh, wait, where are we? The next day, my dorm mate Steve and I crossed the Vistula River and ended up looking for one of Krakow's <laughs> most heartbreaking monuments. We're here in Krakow, founded in 1972 by John Krakow. I like the river. 
Located along the Vistula River is the unbelievable monument to Jock, a black mutt who spent 1990 to 1991 waiting faithfully in this very spot for his owner, who died suddenly of a heart attack along the nearby Grunwald Roundabout. Krakow has a lot to see, but starting with a few amazing monuments will get you exploring places you might not normally go. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for our next adventure. Bye!